heavy and I have just dropped my son at nursery and I thought it was a good chance to start talking to you about my vlog that I'm just doing. So today's vlog is all about launching my membership site which basically went live last night and it was supposed to go live at nine o'clock but there was a glitch in the Facebook system because I'm beta testing it for Facebook or I'm squeezing past some cars and so it meant I was up at till about 2.30 a.m. and my son was up at 5 a.m. so I'm pretty pooped but I'm excited because it's gone live. So what can I tell you about the membership site? Well it is jam-packed full of all kinds of goodies. There's going to be, um, you know, lots of video training in there. There'll be weekly um, Q&A sessions with me. We'll have an expert. We'll do a kind of theme every month. So this month, we're going to be doing PR, and then we'll move forward with, like, obviously, video things. Plus, also, there'll be lots of stuff on, like, Pinterest or social media or... Um, podcasting we're going to launch a podcast challenge so all kinds of things that we're going to be doing and I would love you to be part of it so as we go down here um, I've definitely picked I picked a quiet street as I could walk home I as I was walking home I dropped my son off at nursery and I was just walking home and who do I um, who walks past me as I'm doing this Benedict Cumberbatch I could have asked him to be in it starring role with Benedict Cumberbatch but maybe maybe he might say mm, Doctor Who being on the vlog with Lucy which would he prefer hmm good question anyway I will see you in a little bit bye 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 hi uh, I'm back again and um, I'm home I've done a bit of tidying of the house because I am definitely someone I have to clear the clutter before I can focus and just with a crazy few days with the um, with the Facebook launch you know of the membership site I definitely have been sort of focused on just like doing that and so just the boring mum stuff, life's admin stuff that you have to do. I have to say, I don't normally look like this. Um, I was doing, yesterday morning, I was doing a day of um, video training. And so I had a makeup artist come and do my um, hair and makeup before I went to that. And she does these amazing eyelashes that stay on my face. And so it means I can stay and I can do another day of filming. So I'll probably do another day of filming a bit later on. The other thing that I'm doing today, obviously like working on the membership site launch and really focused on that. Um, all the content is there, but I just wanna make people feel really welcome and special and focus on that. But I've got two new projects I'm gearing up for kind of the final three months of the year. And my final three months, the two objectives is growing the membership site, launching my new group program and um, I've actually, I've got four. Um, and then, da, 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 my podcast. So I've got a Rode, um, this is my Rode mic. Um, so this is like, I'm working on my podcast with a, um, and actually he's an old friend of mine from like about 20 years ago. And he was, we used to call him a radio anorak. So this is when I worked in local radio. And he was like, completely obsessed with local radio and there are people who work in the radio industry who are probably they're almost like train spotters I don't want to offend radio people because they're lovely lovely people but they kind of have that obsessive tendency and he definitely is in the category of obsessive but in a brilliant way and um and I love, he um, he doesn't work for Global Radio anymore, but I love Global Radio has a mission statement, which I think is, he's got Ashley Talbot, the guy who is like a now a multi-billionaire who runs um, Global Radio among, amongst other stations. And he talks about, instead of a mission statement, he has an obsessive statement. And I think that's really important for everybody and everybody's business, but particularly in radio, people get really obsessive. So why am I saying that? Because actually, these are the people who can really help with building my podcast. And so I'm working with Steve and he's gonna be producing my podcast for me, which is really great. And I'm producing other people's podcasts as well. So, you know, we're gonna have a really high level of expertise, like people who really have been, know their stuff and have been working in the radio industry for 20 years and um, are very closely involved with things like the UK Podcasting Awards and, you know, all of those things which um, can, you know, really take you to the next level when it comes to a podcast. So that's, that's one of my objectives. 
the other objective is writing my book. So the, writing a book, I have had books that I have, I'm really ashamed to say this, I have a book that is completely written, that sits on my hard drive, um, that I wrote about 15 years ago and, and I, I sent to one agent and then I didn't hear back and I, and I basically gave up. And so this time, I've got myself a publishing coach, the amazing Jessica Killingly, who is gonna really make me crack the whip and make me do this. And so I am gonna start mapping out, I'm gonna spend two hours today mapping out my book and really getting that strategy before I meet with her next week. So I'm excited about that. So those are the key things that are coming up for me in the next few months, what's coming up for you. Um, it's really important, like as you go into each quarter, it really helps to kind of plan out your year into quarters. And so if you have like, crazy time which I've just had and then you have a bit of like okay downtime in order to plan and prep and so for my final quarter of the year it's going to be um, really focused on um, those four objectives that I've talked about and if you have too many things it's overwhelming and I definitely have felt overwhelmed in the last few months so they're my key objectives obviously there's you know there's lots of clients to please and there's lots of you know social media to do and all those other things but they're the key four pillars that I'm going to be focused on and so if I can achieve those by the end of um well, by Christmas time, I'm going to be a very happy bunny. So watch this space. I'm going to be typing, typing, typing. And if you would like to be on the podcast, if you can suggest anyone you would like to be interviewed on the podcast, I would love to hear from you. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, bye, bye.